Dell stock has gained around 359% since the last five years and over 200% since the last one year. On Thursday, the 29th of February of this year, 2024, the company has uh, surpassed uh, both uh, top line and bottom line analyst expectations with uh, fiscal 2024 fourth quarter results. Upon results, uh, the shares have spiked over 20% as uh, through its ongoing partnerships with uh, AI, AI leaders, including NVIDIA and uh, AMD. Um, AI tech advances uh, enable Dell to report significant gains in its, uh, in its outcomes. So the chief, chief operating officer of the company, John Clark, uh, spoke of the company's expanding or the company's strong AI optimized server momentum with uh, Orders expanding nearly 40% sequentially and uh, backlog uh, nearly doubling, ending the fiscal uh, year with uh, $2.9 billion. And it's understood that uh, some of these um, AI powered um, servers are even, uh, they're not um, uh, 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 future servers that um, um, Dell hopes to make. It's actually it's actually um, um, indicated that or noted that um, um, uh, Dell or has already has has these uh, some of these uh, servers in, in 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 stock already you know so um, yeah it's the momentum has uh, it's slightly coming back to the stock like I said earlier on you know the stock is in a strong bullish trend I'm just gonna have to show you what's going on here because you know last one year two hundred six percent year to date uh 59.19 percent and if you look at the chart you would just uh, have uh this is this is the i want to believe it's one day one year over the last one year i want to believe yeah over the last one year yeah since from the, the 6th of march last year 2023 look at what we're looking at right now all of these uh this recent um, upward tick this pivot from uh 81.15 as of uh, the 21st of uh, February um, that took it that you know resulted in this uh, huge spike we are, we are we're talking about right now you know outside that uh, the stock has it been inching up we can see that the upward uh, you can see the angle of attack is a decent one you know um, at various times uh, dipping below its uh, 50 period moving average 50 day moving average and bounce, bouncing back but um, this time around you know I, I um, I can imagine that uh, certain market participants are looking for, you know, potent and credible and uh, and uh, yeah, potent and credible um, stocks to associated with AI. You know, and definitely Dell is is seems to be ringing that bell, and it's it's current, currently cheap right now. You know those who feel that uh, they have missed out on they missed out on Nvidia or that Nvidia is a bit too expensive. And even if they didn't miss out on Nvidia, you know, you know this is another means of uh, doubling up, uh, another means of uh, stacking it all up. You know, so we have uh, been able to uh, on its um for on its one day chart on um, trading view here, we can see that the price has. Um, the same chart as well. The chart, the price has um, broken above all of its uh, Fibonacci projections. The, the the Fibonacci projections have not been rec have not recalculated for some, for some reason. So we're really not. Uh, they, they, all, 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 all we can also actually say is that these projections are uh, are just going to be we can call them retra retra retracement levels, supports, and all that. So, but if you have a look at uh, uh, it's a forty five minute chart, you see something totally different. Uh, Fibonacci projections are intact here. Okay, so we have uh, been able to, you know, enter these uh, this, some some figures, you know, some details, you know, to uh, Gemini and um, also chat GPT. But um, Gemini seems to be giving us um, a much more. It's uh, the, the analysis is giving us is uh, just pertains to the the figures we it, we gave it. You know, so we have that. Um, uh, 135.16 which is the most upper projection on this on its um this 45 minute on this four hour, oh no not, it's not a 45 minute chart it's um it's a four hour chart not a 45 minute chart pardon me it's a four hour chart 
we are, we are talking about now yes for the, the four hour chart this is it's the most upper projection we have is uh 135.42 so gemini is saying that uh, 135 okay when we had it it was 1.1 it was uh, one six so these uh extension levels and beyond uh, beyond the, the recent high and they were reaching these levels might indicate a strong continuation of the up upward upward trend and then if it falls uh, below if it falls from these sort of highs then uh one two four nine one two eight seven two one two seven point six eight one two six point nine one and one two five point eight eight these are retracement levels between the that those highs those highs that is if if it eventually gets to these sort of highs or beyond they will these ones these will be the retracement levels uh, between those highs and the lows if uh, the price falls these uh, levels could act as uh, support zones and then 124.33 and 120.44 uh, these are deeper deeper retracement levels if the price falls significantly these levels uh, could offer stronger support so mind you that um dell closed at uh, 121.78 you know 121.78 so we put all of those into into the into the uh prompt you know we put all of those into the into the prompt and um this is what we got a couple of uh, uh, a couple of um there are a couple of uh, uh drafts that uh, we got out from there but um this is um this is the one we just chose to um what i'd say review you know a couple of errors you know uh, were noticed but um this this sounds a little bit more like um what you would um you know um reasonable reasonably um rely on you know but in any case you know it's good to just have some of these as as, as a backup you know and all that stuff you know so and use them to compare what you're doing and all that you know so um let me see if i can find um if i can find a draft of what i did and uh, see what um uh, let me see if i can find a draft yeah this is what i i, I did let's see show drafts you can see it uh, it was there was an error there it was saying something else and i had to correct it the 10 period moving average is most certainly not higher than the current uh, price so when you're using this you have to be really careful um it's uh prone to errors and at the same time also it can also give you um what looks like um credible results or you know reasonable results so it's you still have to review um uh, all that um, you are dealing with and all that so uh, the original draft is uh something like this i think i have it here on uh chat gpt chat gpt is uh it's not um chat gpt's uh results not uh, very encouraging so this is what we let me see i'm trying to find out what i prompted here this is uh, let me see what i can find it up here this is what i prompted this is the this are the details i prompted into it so um yeah gemini i think is better it will give you better results you can always modify these and uh you know so I'll, I'll type this i'll paste this into the um description box below so that you can um you know modify the draft modify the, the prompt and uh, see what you can come up with you know so i never thought this was going to be with this was ever going to come out because sometimes uh, when you begin to mention uh, stocks and then uh, some of these uh um some of these are uh, ai platforms uh may not want to give you any result but um i didn't mention price i didn't mention stocks i just mentioned as you can see i have an actual number which is uh 122.01 so 122.01 is the price of uh dell as of uh, the time i uh send a prompt and you know and all that stuff so you can hear here i also have the length of its uh, standard deviation with a value of 14.32 and all that you know so a couple of things it said about its uh for, for its um gemini said about this 14.32 but um it's it's yeah you you you, you use it and uh, you, you know modify it and it just you don't have to actually use it you know but this will give you an idea of uh, how this will give you an idea or rather this should uh give you an um an indication that you can actually actually get some of these uh 
platforms to you know uh, analyze uh, data stocks uh, stock data data around the stocks and all that so so see what you make of um dell stock and uh, i'll definitely continue to update you thank you very much for watching this